Welcome to today's lesson. Let me just go through a couple of class rules first, okay? They're pretty much the same as what we've gone through previously, right? Okay, only one person speaks at a time, me as well as the student whom I'm addressing, right? Remember, mute your microphones the moment you have answered a question if you've been selected. Mute your microphones after that, right? When I say thank you very much, you know, then you can mute. That's your cue to mute. Okay, remember, please respect each other. Turn off all your web cameras because sometimes you are in a very compromising position. You don't want people to see you and then you end up feeling very embarrassed about it. Right, okay, remember next week, okay, I think you might have had to register for this week. So just a reminder that you might have to register, you know, um, in terms of having an account so that we can send you any promotions or so that, you know, if you've, if you've got any questions, you can be in touch with us. Okay, so that is the main purpose of the registration okay now please take note right students because i had an issue this week with my secondary school class right many of them for some reason i think they went to school or anything so they came late and um i would really appreciate it if you could try to be on time because i think next week even if you were to go to school 4 30 is quite a comfortable time for all of you to actually come down for class right okay that's why i give you uh, an, al an allowance of about 10 minutes Right, after which we might actually lock class. Okay, what do I mean by registering? Right, basically, if you are already locked into your account when you are when you access the live lessons website, right? Okay, you don't have to worry about registration. Okay, because you are already logged in, your computer IP address, which is the device that you use, either your laptop or your iPad or your handphone, whichever, right? Okay, they have all a sort of like a code which is called an IP address. We register that IP address, okay? So if there's anything that is going on that is wrong or that is not right, right, okay, we can actually trace it back to you. So if you are locked into your account, don't have to worry about registration. Just make sure you log in and then you'll be able to gain access without problem. Okay, now, and remember the last thing that we need to remember would be that respect is the most important thing, right? Okay, you give me the respect that you um, that I deserve, right? When I'm teaching and I give you the respect that you deserve when you are speaking with me or when we are conversing. Okay, now, today, as some of you, I think hopefully all of you have actually downloaded the PDF, right? That we put up on our live lessons tab. Okay, we're going to be covering visual text. Grammar close, as well as, of course, our oral practice that will be ongoing, simply because I think you need the exposure to speak, the opportunity to speak, right, as well as the ability to converse with each other, because I think that's what we all lack right now, right, communication. Okay, students, now. Let's just go through some visual text tips, okay? I know many of you are very, um, either you are very familiar because I think at primary four, this is a primary three, primary four class, right? So primary four, you will be exposed to these type of questions, okay? Primary three, maybe not yet, but whatever it is, you will definitely encounter this as you approach PSLE because this is a compulsory section for your primary five and primary six syllabus. Okay, that being said, some tips that we can actually have, okay, will be firstly, obviously, I always tell my students, don't zoom in on looking at the stimulus, the stimulus being the picture, right? Always look through the questions, why is that? So that you actually get a gist of what the questions are for you to be able to sort of predict, right, the answer when you're actually looking at the visual that they give you, okay? It's like a walking back kind of strategy that I find is very helpful. Okay, students? Now, then, of course, you look at the visual text that they give you, right? Okay, try to look for clues to the answers of the questions, okay? Answer the questions, and of course, I wish you all the very best. Okay, students, good job. Now, thank you all for responding in the text, right? I, and in the chat group, I can actually see what you're typing. So, unless there's a very pressing question, I will not address it until later on, or I'll reply to you via text. Okay, okay. Now, let's go through the questions that we have, students, okay? So the what will enjoy a $3 discount off their total purchase. So who are we talking about over here? So we see that there's some sense of um, customers, right? Okay, we have some customers. We have customers by purchasing cakes. Okay, so this is probably something to do with cakes, you know, and, 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 and obviously there being a sale of some sort. Okay, Joseph Chan is invited to the grand opening of the cake shop. So we have this character called Joseph Chan. Okay, and then remember, there's a grand opening. So we obviously know what type of visual text this is, an advertisement for the opening of a cake shop, right? You see, when you read through the questions first, you are aware 
of what is actually going to happen. Okay, now, customers can inquire about the cakes in the shop by, how can they actually inquire? They call in, right, okay, or they go to a website, right? How can they find out more? Inquire in this case means find out more. All right, okay. Now, customers should arrive at the cake shop by if they want to eat the free samples of the latest range of cakes. Okay, what time should they actually arrive so that they can enjoy the free samples of the cake? Okay, and the grand opening of the Glory Cake Shop will be held at which plaza, which mall will they be actually held at? Okay, students, all okay with me so far? If you're okay, can you just give me a thumbs up? Very good. Okay, good job. Now let's move on to today's questions, right? Let me see. Hang on. I see this. Okay, now we'll go on to today's visual text. Okay, so this is actually what we've got. Okay, which is actually talking about the grand opening of. Hang on, let me change it to a okay. Grand opening of this particular cake shop, right? Which sells a large variety, a wide variety of delicious cakes, okay? Of course, we have the date and the mall. Remember, we just on the question of where it is going to be held at. So this is actually our telling. I mean, you already know the answer, right? Okay. And then there'll be a ribbon cutting ceremony by this guy. Remember, there was a question by Joseph Chan. Okay, of course, there'll be a demonstration of cake icing, free samples. There was also a question on that. You see, the students, now I hope you understand why I say that you should read through the questions first because when you're looking at the visual, you sort of can put two things together. You already know, okay, so this question, it goes where, right? Okay, now you see how it actually joins together. Okay, of course, you have this DIY thing, but we don't, we didn't have any question on that, right? Early but special, first 100 customers who bring along this pamphlet will get $3. Now, there was something about a discount. Right, okay, so hurry and for inquiries, what do you actually do? You realize that there, we spotted almost all the questions already, right? The answers for that. Okay, now, very good students. Okay, so this is a practice that's available in my video. So if you want to do more practice, right, okay, you can go down to my videos, right? Practice um, the trial lessons. If not, you can actually purchase the package and of course, start practicing. Okay, so the what will enjoy a $3 discount off their total purchase okay now any student wants to volunteer this answer for me okay chloe chloe uh hello can you yes hi there. yes ken i don't mind the background noise huh? okay <laughs> okay so the answer is a first okay the, the first hundred customers really is is that all they said is there anything else that we might be missing out? Do you, would you like to look at the pamphlet? Let me show you. Okay. Okay. I actually highlighted the answer oh, already. Oh, oh, I know, I know. Yes, uh, you know. You have to know. <laughs> D, 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 because there is a condition, right? Yeah, yeah. They have to bring along that pamphlet. Pamphlet. Okay, so please, students, the very good try. Okay, Chloe. Now, students, please take note, okay, whenever they give you, sometimes answers may be incomplete. So when it's incomplete, there may be, you know, extra information that you missed out that if you don't put the correct answer, right, obviously you'll get it wrong, right? Okay, so please take note of the additional information. Don't be careless about it. Okay, now, next question. Thank you very much, Chloe. Now, Joseph Chan is invited to the grand opening of the cake shop. What? Okay, we have the second one. Okay, we get Miguel. Okay, son. Your video. Okay, Miguel, are we ready? Yes. Okay, hi, Sirat. Would you like to answer this question for me? Okay. Okay. What do you think the answer is? Um, Miguel? Yes. Would you like to answer this for me? Yes. Um, mm. I think the answer is B. B for the ribbon cutting ceremony? Okay, let's have a look at the clues, yeah? Okay, so he has actually been invited for what? Oops. Oh, oh. Okay. He has actually been invited for the ribbon cutting ceremony. You are right. Okay, good job. So if you're not sure, right, always make sure you go back to the visual itself because that will be what you are given, right? The answers will definitely be there. Okay, now, yes. thank you very much, Miguel. 
Uh, Prancho, you're right. That's the one. I think today's the 29th, right? Yes, that's my pre-class note. That's the code for that. Please download that. Okay, students so go to download the worksheet from the live lessons tab on the 88 tuition website. Okay, good job, students. Okay, third question. Customers can inquire about the cakes. Now, this is what we went through. I remember it's the last thing in the visual text that I actually gone through. Right, anybody wants to help me with this? Okay, hang on. I'm clearing off. Okay, Brian. Brian, okay, so it's fastest fingers first for now. Okay, where's Brian? Now? Okay, Brian. Oh, number B. Huh? How to be number B, uncle? <laughs> Is it alphabet or number? Eh, alphabet. Correct. Thank you. So it's alphabet B by calling six, uh, seven, six, seven, six, eight, one, two, three, four. Right. Let's have a look at where we can pick it up from. Yeah. You realize they say over here for enquiries, please call Isaac at six, seven, six, eight, one, two, three, four. This, this is where you got the clue from. Okay. Good job. Now the answer will be B. Okay, thank you, Brian. Can you mute yourself, sweetie? Now, customers should arrive at the cake shop by what time if they want to eat the free samples of the latest range of cakes? Okay, for this question, okay, I'm going to clear everybody, lah, okay, so that it's on a fair skin, right? Okay, who wants to answer my question? We get, hang on, I saw someone saying here, come on. Okay, hang on, Aiden. Okay, Aiden, come, dear. What, what time? Okay. Aiden. Yeah? Okay, so would you like to answer this question for me? Answer. Would you like to have a look at the stimulus, the visual tech? Yes. Okay, I've actually highlighted the answer. <laughs> so what time do you think you should come? Because okay. the question is asking if you want to, you know, try the free samples, right? What time should you come? C. C, which is 11 o'clock, right? Yeah. Okay, good job. Okay, C, 11 o'clock. So this is how you actually answer the questions, okay, students? You pick out the details from the visual text itself. Okay, thank you so much, Aiden. Now, the last question over here, students, okay? The grand opening, right? Remember this question I went, uh, this, this, this part I went through in the visual text, right? Which mall it was in, right? So the grand opening of the Glory Cake Shop will be held at, okay, anyone wants to volunteer for me? Okay, Rushita. Um, B? B will be Westgate Mall, is it? Okay, let's have a look at the clue, yeah? That's right, okay? It's over here, right? It's stated over here, Westgate Mall. You're right, sweetheart, okay? So it's answer B, Westgate Mall. Okay, students, I think this is a fairly simple visual text for the primary threes. If you haven't actually, you know, been exposed to such uh, questions before, welcome to the world of visual text. You either really score, score really well, or, you know, because you're callous or you don't take note of certain de details, right? Blech, that section is like out of seven marks for the PSLE paper. It's out of, A. Eh, sorry, I think it's, it's out of eight marks. Yes, it's the last section out of eight marks, right? So you either score really well, you get eight out of eight, or you get like three or four, you know, like you're guessing the answers. Okay, so these questions are actually quite simple because it's all provided in the, the, the advertisement, right? So go and have a look at it. Okay, students. Now, thank you very much for all of you who participated. Okay, now these are the answers. All right, for those of you who need it, don't need to copy down anything because we'll upload the slides later. Now, let's go through grammar clothes. Don't worry. Or, okay, most of you will get the opportunity to read if you tell me that you want to read. I mean, not tell me, but you raise your hand. Okay, so we have over here eight blanks. Right, okay. So, um, I would like someone to actually read out to me because we have, so we have, Hang on, ah, we have one. Okay, so I'm going to mark it out. Okay, so student one will read this. Okay, student two will read this. Let me mark it out first so that we find out how many students we can have to read, okay? Student three would read this, okay? And student four. Okay, now who wants to read? Hang on. <laughs> I need to clear. Okay, who wants to read for me? Oh my gosh, this is really <laughs> Okay, Estelle's name came up first. Okay, we have Estelle for one. All right, for two, we get um, Caden. Oopsie. Okay, for three, we get 
Kamalesh. Um, Kamalesh. And for four, we get Pari. Okay, so students, remember for these questions, right, what I want you to do is do not read out the answer. If you see a blank, so for example, she attends dancing, sorry, she enjoys dancing and attends several dance classes by every week. So you can just say by blank every week, for example. Okay, do not read out the answers. Later, we'll have another group of students answering me. Okay, so can we start with Estelle? Can you please read for us, dear? Let me find your name, okay? All right, are we ready, sweetie? Let's go. Stella has a talent for dancing. She enjoys dancing and attends several dance classes by Blank every week. Her parents take Blank too many auditions and competitions. Thank you, sweetheart. Now, I like the way you read. You're very enthusiastic. You're obviously a very happy student, which is great. Okay, but what I'd like you to focus on, okay, is that every punctuation, right? Maybe you can slow down a little bit for a while. You pause a little bit. Okay, because now it sounds very joined together, right? So how you can improve will be to actually just pause at the punctuation marks. Can do? Okay, I really like the way you read. Good job. Okay, now Caden, let me go with... Uh, hang on now, sweetheart. Let me... Okay, are we ready? Let's go. Bella's, Ooh. Wait, wait. Bella's friends encourage her to... Blank are always rooting for her. In fact... Her friends have prepared a huge colourful banner for her next competition. Blank says, you're the best, Bella. Okay, thank you, sweetie. That's very good. Apart from the fact that you had um, a bit of feedback in the beginning. Okay, so what, I mean, that is just a technical glitch aside, alright? But what I'd like you to do to improve is maybe um, just slow down a little bit. Okay, because I think toward, like you were trying to make up for the beginning part, right? So perhaps you were, slow, you were reading through quite rashly, rashly, not rashly, but quite quickly. So try to slow down a little bit. Okay, Kaden? Okay. Thank you, sweetheart. Now, can you mute yourself there? Can the student who's trying to take over my screen please stop because it's annoying me? And I shut down my class of primary five and primary six. I suggest let's not make me shut down for primary three and four as well. Okay, now, uh, Kamalesh, are we ready? Where are you, sweetie? Uh, Kamalesh, Kamalesh, Kamalesh. Where are you? Uh? Ah, okay. Okay, Ducky, Kamalesh, are we ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. I always tell my children that reading is a form of learning as well as a form of enjoyment. One blank to gain knowledge and information. It is also important to continue blank even as an adult. I get blank many storybooks since young and I am still reading. Very good. Thank you. Your pace was excellent. Okay, I like how you paused at all the different punctuation marks. You were obviously very comfortable with how you read. Keep it up. Okay, Kamalesh? Good job. Thank you. Okay, uh, last one, last paragraph over here. We have Pari, right? Hang on, Sudi, where are you? Okay, Pari, are we ready? Hedwin, your webcam. Okay, Pari, are we ready? Yes. Okay, come, let's go. Even famous authors need to read other authors' books too. As an old saying goes, if you blank, it will take you around the world. You do not need to travel around the world to learn. You only need to read. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, I really like how you write, but be careful, yeah? Because sometimes when we're not familiar with the text, we tend to add in or we remove words for that matter. So let's try to avoid this, okay? By when we, you know, we get the text, right? Okay, we get that five minutes to sort of prepare ourselves, right? Make sure we really use that five minutes well, okay? Because let's avoid, you know, adding in words and all that because it's not so nice, lah. All right, okay, so that's something that we can work on. All right, Perry, very good job, all of you. Okay, now let's go back and discuss the questions. Okay, so Bella has a talent for dancing. She enjoys dancing. I wish I could dance, but I've got two left feet, so that's a bit of a problem for me, right? She enjoys dancing and attends several dance classes by what every week? Okay, students, who would like to answer for me? Now, hang on, huh? I need to go all the way. Okay, 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 just my thing. Okay, okay, Gayatri. I saw that. Uh, is that you? Okay, wait, hang on. No, that's not you. Okay, Gayatri, 
Are we ready to answer? So she attends yes. several. Hi, Sita. She attends several dance classes by every week. By herself. Okay, that's right. How do we know this? You want to explain to me how do we know this? Um, what are the clues that tell you that it's by herself? Because uh, it said by. Mm -hmm, that's right. Okay. Offer, okay, so that's a, a clue in itself, right? It can't be by her. I mean, a work is done by her. But usually when it comes to attending things, it's by herself, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you, sweetie. Okay, now second question. Her parents take to many auditions and competitions. So can we get... Okay, I, I muted somebody, but I'm not sure if it's that person. Okay, Shoya. Her parents take to many auditions and competitions. Take her to many auditions. And That's right. You want to explain? Oh my gosh, sorry. You want to explain to me how do we get her? What is the clue? Because it says her parents. Correct. Her parents, the reference point is her parents, right? So her parents take her to many auditions and competitions. Very good. Thank you so much, Troya. Okay, now, Bella's friends encourage her too. Always, are always rooting for her. So, any, maybe can we get JJ to answer this, please, sweetie? What do you think the answer is? JJ, I've unmuted you already, darling. Eh, not yet. JJ? I can't unmute you, dear. Okay, Victoria? Hmm. Bella's friends encourage her to they are always rooting for her. Very good. Now, how do you know it's they? Because it's Bella's friends. Very good. So clever. You, how do you know when I highlight that, it means that that's the clue. <laughs> A bit dull, right? Okay. They, very good. Okay, are always rooting for her. Well done. Okay. Now, in fact, her friends have prepared a huge colourful banner. You know, those things that, you know, you hang on your school gate or something. That's a banner, right? Okay. For our next competition. What says you're the best, Bella? Anybody wants to help me out here? Okay, Natalie. What says you're the best, Bella? Natalie, are you there, sweetie? We say. We say you're the best, Bella? Yes. Okay. Um, can we just look at the sentence before this? Okay. So, in fact, her, parent, her friends have prepared a huge colourful banner. So, what is the subject over here? Is it her friends or is it the banner? Banner. Okay. So, since you say, you tell me that it's the banner, right? So, let's carry on, yeah, the sentence. The huge colourful banner for her next competition. So, what says you're the best, Bella? What is the it. subject? It. Well done. Very good. Okay, so students, do you understand why now it is actually it? Okay, because the subject that we're referring to is the huge, colourful banner. All got it? Okay, this is something tricky, yeah? So I need all of you to pay attention. Good? Well done. Okay, now let's move on. Ah, okay, so this is a different one, ah? Okay, erase all the Bella dancing, you're the best, everything can take away. Okay, now let's start with a new piece, okay? I always tell my students, so reading is a form of learning as well as a form of enjoyment. This one, I actually agree, students. I know all of you are like, meh, reading. Yeah, but it's actually, it's actually not bad, ah. okay? I started off reading, okay, so a bit about my history. Right? I started off reading Enid Blyton, okay? That's like your parents' time, okay? I think I'm more of your parents' generation. Then after that, move on to Harry Potter. Now, how many, like, how many of you like Harry Potter? Yes, right. Yes, right. Who doesn't like Harry Potter? You should go and watch the movie. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. So it's Harry Potter. But now, not really. Now it's like you read newspapers. I have to read basically. It's my job, right? So yeah, a bit boring now, but no choice. Okay. Now let's get on. Sorry for the distraction. Okay. One is to one to gain knowledge and information. Okay. Let me read the sentence again. I always tell my, my, my children that reading is a form of learning as well as a form of enjoyment. One to gain knowledge and information. So, what can this be? You're referring specifically, let me highlight this in case many of you are struggling. Yeah? One, to gain this. So, this is the purpose that we are talking about. Student who's trying to annoy me, please stop. Okay, one more time and I'll just shut the whole class down. And I don't think you want, we all know who you are. Okay, so I don't think you want the whole class to end up, you know, not liking you as a result. Right? Okay, so let's remain polite, please. Okay? Now, um, anyone wants to help me out with this question five? Okay, I like this student's name. Super 
Ashworth. At Ashworth. Oh, Ashworth. Okay, you got any help me out with your name, ah? Okay, Sudi, you want to try this question for me since you're very super, right? Okay, I can't hear you. Can you like super impose, super increase your volume? Super Ash? Can't hear you, sweetie. Sorry. Uh, anyone else wants to help us out? Okay, let me see. Okay, anybody wants to help me out for this? Okay, Rushita? Reads. Excellent. Okay, one reads because that is the main purpose, right? Okay, so one reads to gain knowledge and information because this is singular subject verb agreement over here. Okay, thank you, sweetheart. It is also important to continue even as an adult. So this one, the clue is that because it is continuing to do something. So it has to be in the continuous tense, right? Okay, now can we get Hima to answer this for me, please? Hima, dear? Yes. It is also important to continue what even as an adult? Reading. 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 Very good, okay? Because this is actually in the continuous tense, right? Okay. Huh? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Hima. All right, now, I bought many storybooks since young and I am still reading. So you're talking about something that happened when you were young, right? So anybody wants to help me out here? Okay, Dina? Dina. Or is it Deanna? I think it's Deanna. Right? I am to somebody. Deanna? Can't hear you. Student team, I want to check your mic, uh, whether it's working, especially when you want to speak, okay? Because sometimes you're speaking and I can't hear you. So I think if I can't hear you and I've unplugged and plucked, right? I think the other students wouldn't be able to hear you as well. So just check that out. Okay? Uh, da, 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 okay. Victoria? I read many storybooks since young. I have read. Very good. Okay, because you're talking about something that has happened in the past, but yet you are still doing it now, right? And I'm still reading. Okay, thank you, Victoria. Even famous authors read other authors' books as well, right? Okay, sorry, too. As an old saying goes, if you, it will take you all around the world. Actually, this is very true. Okay, so if you ask me whether I prefer reading or I prefer watching movie, right? I prefer to watch. I prefer, I prefer to watch. I prefer to read, actually. Because when you read, you can conjure up all the, the funky fantasies in your mind, right? Okay? But when you just watch, it's just meh, right? It's just one, one way only. You cannot think about anything else. Okay? So reading is actually, in my opinion, better because then you can let your imagination run wild. All of your imaginations will run wild anyway. Okay? Now, so if you want, if you take, it will take you around the world. Now, I know someone told me that they wanted to answer this, right? Okay, uh, hang on. I'm trying to find a name that I haven't seen. Okay, so Gianni. Is it is it is that how it's pronounced? Gianni? G-I-A-N-I, -I, right? Hang on. Yeah, Gianni. If you it will take you around the world. Do you want to answer this, sweetie? Okay, I don't think you wanna. Gianni? Okay, if you don't want to, it's all right. Franchu, would you like to answer this? If you it will take you around the world. You're all of you stuck at uh, this question, is it? Why everybody reject me? Don't want to talk to me. I'm so sad now. Huh? <laughs> one thing. One thing. If you read. Very good. Okay, if you read, every time you have an if you, it's always a condition. Right? Remember students, whenever you have a condition, it has to be in the root form. So if you read, which is B. Okay, if you read, it will take you around the world. Always remember whenever you, so if you want to, think about it this way, okay? So for example, you have, if you eat, you will not be hungry. It's not if you eat or if you eat, right? Okay, it's if you eat, there's always a condition there. Okay, so same thing here, we parallel the language. Okay, students, good job. Okay, for those of you who participated and did well, we are, we are doing very good with time, okay? We have a three-minute break now. Okay, go grab some water. I promise someone I'll play a song. Okay, so I'll play a song later, okay? So we get uh, uh, we have a short break and then we come back and we do it with oral.
Okay, people stop trying to take over my screen. It's not going to work. Okay, go for a break. Let me play a song in the meantime. Okay, um, students who are chatting with me or you need certain things like my help or anything, right? Can you, can I, I'll just address it later. Okay, this song is called Have It All. Okay, it's called Have It All. Okay, and it's by this guy called Jason Marez, right? What, what, I think it's, this is how you spell it. I can't quite remember, but you just type Have It All and it will be there. Already. Okay, so it's a very, it's a very healthy song for you to listen to when you're not feeling, I'm not feeling as happy as you usually are. Okay, now let's go on to today's oral practice, okay? Don't worry, students, okay, I can play it later again, if you like, at the end of class, okay? If we finish on time. Okay, not on time, but we don't really have a, you know, time limit. Okay, so, now, reading, okay? What I would like to do is, let me count how many paragraphs you have, okay? One, two, three, the different colours, yeah? One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, this is a really long paragraph. Okay, let's... Let me, this one, I'll split this up, okay? Um, okay, I'll split this up to here and here. Okay, now, who would like to read for me these paragraphs? <laughs> you see, I've got how many students and it's already one third of all the students. Okay, 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 okay. Now, let me put it this way. Um, oh my gosh, this is really not funny. <laughs> I'm just very thick. Okay, Shiram. I had, I wanted, I was saving you for oral because I, I I I I wanted to give the rest a chance to answer the other questions first. Okay, um, let next student. Uh, can we get someone? Okay, um, Celine. Okay, uh, hang on now. Uh, let me see who else. Kason. All right, and then we will get, uh, we will get, maybe we can get uh, avocado. Alamak, why the name avocado lah? The next one will be durian lah. Okay. <laughs> okay, avocado and let's get all webcams off, please. Who is this headwind? Headwind, is it? I apologize if I had pronounced your name wrongly. Please correct me later when you are reading. Okay, now, okay, remember this is, um, let me explain to you the context of the story, right? Or rather the reading, you are reading, you're telling a story to your friends, okay, read aloud the story so they will enjoy listening to you. Okay, now, Shira, where are you, baby boy? <laughs> okay, are we ready to go? Oh, did you finally I can talk? Yeah, 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 I know you're like dying, right? The mouth can want to, want to explode, right? <laughs> okay, are we, are we ready? Let's go. Um, Leah. Leah's mouth be began to to sell. <laughs> so I cannot read the word. Sell, salivate. Okay, and, yeah, salivate. Yeah, correct. The, do you salivate? Okay, so basically it comes from the root word saliva, right? So salivate actually means that when you are like you know drooling, right? Mm -hmm. Salivate actually, yeah, that that's the meaning of it. Yeah, basically. Elevate okay. at the image of the melted cheese oozing out of the tender ju juicy bur burger. Her mouth was slight, slightly uh, a gap and her eyes were tran trans transfixed on the fast food advertisement on television. Elevate. Okay, thank you, dear. Okay, the word that we were struggling with just now, right, is actually salivate. Okay, which actually comes from the root word saliva, right? So when you're drooling, actually another word that you can use is salivate. Okay. Uh, teacher, one question. Yes. Wait, your, you your, your one question is never one question, no. It's like teacher question <laughs> to be more specific. Yes, yeah. darling, what's up? Because like some, sometimes you say you, you exit the class if somebody takes over your screen. How can they take over your screen? No, okay, so what happens is that um, if you request the, the student, who, whoever it is, tries to take over remote access. How right, can you do that? so uh, you can. There is an option. I really don't know how. I've never tried to do it. Now. It's simply I'm not gonna do it. Good. The rest of uh, you should follow suit. You shouldn't do it. Okay, so basically, that's what they try to do, which is very annoying. It doesn't matter if they do, but when they come up with funny, funny names, you know that that shows disrespect. I mean, I don't call all of you names, but yeah, I why, can. But why? Why do if if somebody controls your screen and just mm -hmm. kick them out? Why why get the whole class out? Because I couldn't find a name. Then they kick everybody out lah. Don't kick me. <laughs> I want to kick you now. You're talking too much. <laughs> Good enough. 
<laughs> okay, now now you can keep your mouth. You can you can close, huh? Can close shop for a while. Right? I will try. <laughs> what the? Okay, I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> okay, there. Now let's just have some feedback, okay, sweetie. Um, you were very, uh your your pace was good. I, okay, so I'm gonna comment to today. I'm gonna comment on pace and intonation. Okay, because we've got to try to make our reading as exciting as possible, right? Okay, so uh, your pace was very good. Okay, I know you're struggling with a couple of words, okay, like transfix, salivate, right? Okay, all these words, if you're unfamiliar, it's okay. We practice as we go along. Okay, Ken, so remember what we're focusing on will be pace as well as intonation means like how you read it. Okay, now the second uh, one, we have Celine, right? Sweetie, where are you, huh? Okay, Celine, are we ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah, her brother Leon shouted, snapping his fingers in front of her. Leo was startled. I can tell that you're easily influenced by advertisements, he commented. Okay, very good, yeah. Thank you very much, okay? Your pace intonation was very good. What I would like you to focus on next, uh, Celine. Okay, so my comments, students, okay, when I direct um, it at you, it's not a bad thing. Okay, it's specifically for you because I think that that is an area you can improve on, right? There's potential to do well. Okay, so because um, you realize that over here, when he comments on something, right, you sound so happy, no, Salim. It's not bad. Okay, it's not a bad thing, all right? But I need you to sort of try to put yourself in the shoes of her brother. In this case, he's probably very, like, he's very observant. His kind of tone will be very observant, right? But you sound very cheerful. So maybe tone down a little bit, right? I can tell that you are easily influenced by advertisement, he commented. So it's like a very like a teacher tone basically, right? Okay, like he's observing her and he's telling her all these feedback, right? Okay, so just take note of that. Okay, students? Now, Kaysen, where are you, sweetheart? Wait, let me find you. Your name is like lost in translation, no? <laughs> okay, I see you. Very good. Okay, come, let's go. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, shall we try? Okay. Okay, come, let's go. I have to admit that the advertisement, ad advertisement is so enticing. enticing. No wonder that fast food restaurant is always so crowded, Leah said. Leah was easily influenced by the advertisement. Although Leah was never a fan of sausages, she bought a few of them once after she saw an advertisement for them. Thank you, CD. Okay, now the two things that I was asking all of you to look out for, right? Your pace was very good. Your intonation was very good as well, okay? What I need you to do is remember for this particular paragraph, there are a couple of very quite challenging words, right? Advertisement, okay? Can we try to all say advertisement? Four syllables, advertisement. Okay, no, advertisement. Advertise, right, is the verb. When you want to, like, promote something, we advertise. But in this case, advertisement will be the noun. Okay, and so enticing. Enticing means very attractive, something very attractive. Okay, so students, whenever we come to these kind of words, right, so remember, being able to pronounce sort of in a correct manner is a different skill altogether because that would require you to be familiar with all the words that are given. Hey, hello, who's laughing? Okay, okay, okay. oh my god, that's a bit. Okay, sorry, you yourself, Oh, I see. Okay, hi. <laughs> okay, that was a bit freaky though. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Sirat. Okay, students. Okay, just to okay, maybe next time don't, don't wait for my thank you very much. Because especially if you go back ground noise, right? Can be quite scary. Sometimes you hear Zani laughing like behind you, you know, it's, it's okay, but anyway. Yeah, okay. So sometimes when we're not sure of how to pronounce words, right? Try to break it down. So for example, like this one, right? Adver. Okay, I know that's why your thing is ties, right? Okay, so it's not wrong, but it's actually tisman. Okay, so remember the two things that we're focusing on, okay, is pace and intonation, right? So if you're not sure of any words, don't worry, okay, we are all here to learn together. Okay, now the next one, avocado, where are you with Miss Durian's sister? Is it brother, sister, whatever, something along that line. Okay, avocado, <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, come avocado, would you like to read for us in a very avocado-ish manner? <laughs> I can't unmute you. Avocado. Avocado. Okay, never mind avocado, if you don't want to respond to me it's okay um andy 
Andy. Andy also don't want. Alamak. Okay. Anybody else wants? <laughs> Franchu. Eh? Wait, did I unmute Franchu? Oh, no. Okay, Franchu, come. Okay. Can you okay. hear me? Yes, I can very clearly. Okay, thank you. Yeah. After watching the advertisement, Leah was indeed tempted to head down to the fast food restaurant and buy the burger that was promoted on television. Her mother would not like the idea of her eating fast food. Besides, Leah had limited herself to eating fast food only once a week. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, now this is a different challenge for you. Your pace and intonation, no problem. Okay, but I realize that your challenge is when you have long sentences, so you're not quite sure where to put the breath and we don't know where to breathe, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so how we actually avoid this problem, yeah. students? Okay, now I know most of us will face this, right? We don't have like Mariah Carey's, you know, super duper like big lungs, you know, that kind of thing. So <laughs> we'll all be like, it's a reading, reading. <gasps> okay, yeah, it's also <laughs> awkward, right? Now. Okay, so how yeah. do we avoid this, right? Okay, slow down. So uh, let me try to read it also. <laughs> let me try to read it and show you how it's done, okay? Okay. After watching the advertisement, you realize there's a there's a comma, so we pause, okay? Yeah, so Leah we was indeed tempted to head down to the fast food restaurant. You realize I'm slowing down. Uh -huh. When I'm slowing down, I can sort of insert a quick breath. And without it being so obvious, right? I don't go like to head down to the fast food restaurant and buy the burger that also no, I don't do that. Okay, it's because when I slow down, I'm inserting like short breaths in between to help me control how much sort of like air I breathe out. Because when I'm reading, actually I'm breathing out yeah. air, correct? Right, you know? Okay, so that is when I can sort of have better control of how I'm breathing, okay? So I attempted to head down to the fast food restaurant and buy the burger that was promoted on television. Full stop, right? I could keep this penis in the vagina. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Hey, hello, hello, hello. What are you saying? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Franchu. Okay. Yeah. What was that I heard from you? Um just now uh the microphone failed. Huh? Okay, <laughs> uh. never I do not want to hear that again. Alright, Franchu? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry for the for those of you who have heard. I have just removed him, even though he's a very good student. But I do not want to hear any such words again in future. Okay, I have no idea where that came from, but it's really not funny. Anyway, I'm going to remove. Hang on, I'm getting annoyed. Huh? Okay. I'll take note. Thank you, students, for sharing that with me. Okay. Anyway, sorry for the sidetrack. Um, let me get back to what I was saying. Yes, okay. So, I was teaching you the techniques of when you deal with long sentences. Right, okay? You break it up. Okay? Now, headwind. Um, she had eaten... She had just eaten it three days ago. She had to resist the temptation. She told herself that sh should the same fast food adver advertisement come on again, she would have to close her eyes until it was over. Okay, thank you, sweetie. Now, okay, your pace was good, okay? Intonation, you could maybe insert a little bit of up and down here and there, okay? But what I need you to do, right, is maybe when you're given another opportunity in future, right? Be more familiar with the text, okay? How okay. so is when you read through the five minutes, right? Okay, try to pay attention to the tricky words. You know, sometimes you're not comfortable with how it, it links, right? Okay, so just try to practice reading this more challenging section so you can be a little bit more smoother when you read. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, okay. good job. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, now let's move on to our stimulus based conversation. Keegan, can we stop playing with our web camera, please? Okay. Now, uh, only available in iPad stores, obviously, right? Uh, Apple, right? Okay. But uh, while well, stock last, okay? Now, this is actually the number one game console in the world. You will receive two free games with every purchase. Okay? And yes, you can always tell me things, students, in the chat group. 
right? Okay, don't worry. You can share with me. I'll be reading it later. Okay, now, what are the questions, all right, that we have? <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at this advertisement. Would you be tempted to buy the product in the advertisement? Okay, why? What kinds of advertisement attract your attention? Tell me about them. Okay, students, I will get um, one or two students to actually answer me these questions later, okay? Hang on, uh. let me go through all the questions first. Do you easily get influenced by your friends to get the things that they have? Okay, now let me get a couple of students to share me your thoughts, okay, on the first question. Would you be tempted to buy the product in the advertisement? Okay, let's have... <clears throat> Okay, Chloe, you want to try? So look at this advertisement. Would you be tempted to buy the product here? Um, I will be tempted, in my opinion, I will be tempted to buy the product in the advertisement because uh, we will receive two free games with every purchase mm -hmm. and it's only in, available in IP pair stores and <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Like, oh, uh, okay. And voted, and is the is the voted number one game console in the world. Okay, so basically, because you get some free games, and because it's supposed yeah. to be the best, so you want to buy it that way. Okay, sure. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, uh, let me get uh another student. Okay, uh, Gianni. Now, can your mic work, sweetheart? Gianni. Jenny? Yes, hi. Okay, you want to try this question, Sidi? Would you be tempted to buy the product in the advertisement? Yes. Okay, why is that? Do you want to speak a bit louder because you're a bit soft, Sidi? Oh, sorry. No problem. Okay, so would you be tempted to buy this product? Yes. Why is that? Uh, because you will get... You will you will receive two free games with every purchase, and mm -hmm. it's I like small console, so okay, yeah. So it's voted number one, is that okay? So that's why you would like to buy it, lah. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, sweetie. Okay, now what kinds of advertisements, okay, students actually attract your attention? Tell me about them. Okay, so what kind of uh, advertisements do you like? Okay, Gayatri. Um, Gaya. Yes, hello. Can you hear yeah. me? Yes, can. Um, um, I'm not actually interested in gaming. Okay. But I actually find it boring. Okay, well done. Me too. High five. Okay. <laughs> but what do you think? What kind of advertisement do you think actually attracts your attention? Um, it can be about food. It can be about movies. You know? I love animals. Okay. So, like, so sort of like ev 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 animal advertisement? Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. You also like something? You sell me some ice cream, is it? What? You, ice cream, is it? You also like ice cream advertisement? Uh, no. <laughs> no ice cream. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. How is that possible? How can anyone not like ice cream? Well, I do like it, but I don't eat it very often. Ah, uh, okay. Now that's a better statement. I was just thinking, how can anyone not like ice cream? That's not possible. Unless you're like on a perpetual diet, which you shouldn't be at this point of time. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what other advertisements do you like? You mentioned something else, right? <clears throat> huh? I didn't mention anything else. No, you mentioned that you also like something. Then I jumped in with the ice cream. So what is that something? Is it animal? Okay, anything else besides animals? Um, no. No. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you very much for your input. So we have animal advertisements as well. Okay, anyone else wants to share me? Can we get a uh, Navidita, is it? Ni sorry, not Navi. It's Nividita by Ravi. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. So you might want to help me out. Okay, not working. Let me get Rushita. Okay, Rushita, sweetie, what kind of advertisements attract your attention? Um, advertisements are like uh, about animals, ice cream, 
<laughs> okay, what else? And toys. Toys, okay. Um, toys like a uh, Barbie dolls. Okay. Because they are my <laughs> favorite and my. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they always attract me. Okay, okay, fair enough. Thank you, Rishika. Okay, now for the last question, okay. Do you easily get influenced by your friends to get the things that they have? All right. Colin, I notice you're very uh, enthusiastic. Let me, uh, let me, Colin, Colin, where are you? Okay, Colin, you want to try? Uh, Do you easily get influenced by your friends to get the things that they have? Um, specific stuff like let's say they have like video games and stuff okay so it's more the gadgets yeah. kind of thing lah. yeah okay alright okay so only when it comes to that if they, if they get like food you won't be tempted uh, like let's say I like fried chicken mm -hmm. so if they get it you also want to get it lah. <laughs> depends on what chicken mm -hmm. okay yeah. Ah, uh, okay. All right, fair enough. Okay, thank you very much, Colin, for sharing. Okay, uh, can I get... Let's see, who else wants to volunteer to answer for me? Natalie, would you like to share? So do you easily get influenced by friends to get the things that they have? No. No? Natalie? Yeah. Okay, so do you usually get influenced? You don't, is it? Yes. So do you usually influence other people? No. Oh, okay. All right, so if you were given this question, how would you answer it then? I am not easily, I will not get um, influenced by your friends easily. Yeah. Okay. Carry on. Okay, so um, do you remember the Oreo format that I was going through with you all? So opinion, right? Okay. And then you give a reason. And then you give an example, right? Okay, and then you give an overall link. So you have given me your opinion that no, you do not get easily influenced by our friends. You want to give me a reason for that? Maybe it's because you have different interests? Um, I'm, sometimes I'm not so... Not so? You're not so what, sorry? Okay, what's going on with your mic? Okay, Shiram, do you get in easily influenced by your friends? Um, what am I influenced against? Okay, influence basically means that do you get affected by what they say. So if let's say your friend gets a Game Boy, for example, right? You also yeah. feel that, oh my gosh, I also want to get Game Boy. Like I already kind of... have a Game Boy. No, I'm asking you, do you get influenced? I'm not asking you whether you have a Game Boy, hello uncle. I'm not an uncle. Eh, not yet. You will reach there soon enough. Yeah, I want to answer like the first one where, where, where they say, I mean like the, the picture of the game, the video game. So, will yeah. you want to buy it? Yes. And I already have it. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. I mean, not the exact, but something similar. Can't you? Can't you? Can't you? Give me a more original answer. You give me a yes. I was hoping for a no. Maybe you want to buy Barbie doll or something, you know? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Okay, so, I, okay. My only interest is in sports and video games and other things. Okay. okay, I'm half of that. Okay, thank you, sweetheart. Okay, now let me so, go through my answers. When, yes. When, when you say half, I, I, are you in sports? Yes. Or is it video games? Sports, obviously. <laughs> I don't like video games. I cannot understand how people can just sit in front of the computer and just play with that no, thing. They, 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 they'll train you then until they give you instructions. No need, no need. I will train them. Yeah, I'm so lazy. <laughs> Okay, thank you, CD. Okay, now, my answers. Okay, students, according to the Oreo format, right? Remember, we give our opinion, we give our reason, we explain, and we give an example, right? And then we repeat our overall step. 
no, I would not be tempted to buy the product. Okay, firstly, I was never a gadget geek, as I shared with all of you, right? I don't like gadgets, okay? I'd rather go outdoors and play sports rather than buy a game console and be stuck at home playing it. I want to be outside, not inside. Now, we're all stuck inside, same problem. Okay, now, I remember that there was a time and I did really well for my examinations and my, my parents actually wanted to buy for me. I think they wanted to buy for me. Well, Game Boy is one, but they offered to buy me Tamagotchi. You know what's Tamagotchi? Back in my time, basically, Tamagotchi is like you. You can take care of some chick lah. Basically, right, you have an egg that hatches into a chick and then this chick, right, grows up and then you, like, try to, like, take care of it, feed it, clear its poop and all that kind of thing, right. So, yeah. I don't know why I love it last time. It's like, you have Tamagotchis in different colours. They are compare with my friends and then sometimes you can even, like, fight with each other. And I don't know what is that called. But, but, yeah, that was my time, quite a long time ago. Okay, so instead of a Game Boy, right, what happened is I asked my parents to actually send me for sports lessons, tennis lessons, right. And something that, this is something I enjoy and it's a skill that I picked up, right. So, I can still play until now. So, I was actually in tennis and track when I was in secondary school. So, yes. Sorry with my life. Okay, you realize how I actually put the answer in a very Oreo format, right? I gave my opinion, reason, my own example, and of course, I link it back to the question again. Okay, so what kinds of advertisements attract your attention, right? Okay, basically, um, we're talking about sports advertisements and health advertisements. They actually attract my attention, right? Okay, so these... Also include, like, sometimes, you know, YouTube video when you're watching a lot, of, because now it's COVID period, right? So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos teaching me how to cook things because I don't cook, right? I mean, I can cook, but I just haven't cooked for a while. So I just watch, you know, to just get the, you know, in, in Singlish terms, we call it the shook factor, right? Okay, so you watch it, wow, like, very nice, huh? but you also don't want to do it, man. Quite funny. But yeah, so so this is actually what I like. So especially those for, about food, la, or about all those... um. Advertisements showing like restaurants now, they all have promotions for deliveries and stuff, right? And this, these are the kinds of things that I like, okay? So, I'm a person who try to eat as healthy as I can. My favorite food is soup and vegetables, right? Which is so boring, but anyway, so I can eat more vegetables and soupy dishes, okay? There's a new wave of healthy living. You realize that now students, now the government is very um, fixated on us about eating healthy, you know, being very active, right? So, all these things, especially now during COVID, where we have to actually make sure that we are in our prime of our health, right? Okay, so that is one of the reasons why also I'm also trying to do this so that, you know, um, when, whenever I go out, I don't, I don't get anything so I don't pass it on to students, basically, right? So whenever there are advertisements about this, right, I get excited and more interested to read them. I think that besides content, what else appeals to me is colour, right? If it's very colourful, I'm very attracted to it, right? Recently, there have been many posters about COVID-19. You just flip the newspapers, okay? Students, you realise that there are lots of those big advertisements, can be one page long kind of thing, telling you about the certain measures of COVID, right? When you go out, what you're supposed to do, you know, what, is, what are the things you're supposed to practice, right? So all these things are actually quite attractive. Not that I like it, but basically it's just attractive, right? And they have been made very beautifully with messages for us to take note of. Okay, so regardless of the content, there are certain posters that I'm attracted to and usually they are quite colourful. Okay, now the last question. Do you easily get influenced by friends? No, definitely not. Right, I do not get influenced by my friends. In my group of friends, usually I'm the first one. Okay, so I, I'm like quite a gadget freak, right? I'm a gadget freak in the sense that I don't play games, but I like to have like iPad, you know, simply because it's just an interest. It's not because I want to show off not because of anything, but it's just purely by interest. It's not a good habit to have, okay, students? Let me tell you, it's not a good habit to have. Okay, but because I like it, and I mean, I don't buy it every day. Obviously, I can't afford it, right? <laughs> buy it maybe once a year. Right? I change my phone maybe once in two years kind of thing. So, that is, I think, something that happens at home as well, right? Your parents, if they can, they'll buy a phone every two years, you know, when their contract ends, etc. right? Okay, so, but I'm the first to usually get any gadget or play with any technological device, right? Okay, hence, if it's anything, they are the ones who usually look at me and it's as though I, 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 I make them want to buy it because I have a lot of fun with my gadgets. Fun as in not games. But rather, it's like, I'm, I think, you know, sometimes you see people play, it's, it's a very singlish phrase, you see people play, people are very shook, right? So, you know, it, it seems very nice, right, when you're very, you people play with it. Yes, Tamagotchi, oh my god, Chloe. <laughs> yeah, so, when you see people, when they handle it, and they, they seem to have a lot of fun with it, you're very inclined to buy, you want to buy it as well, right? So, because of that, actually. Okay, so in this case, right, I'm the one who actually influenced my friends, simply because they think, I think, because I mean, I use my gadgets, I actually use them for a long time, despite the fact I want to change it. So, yeah. Okay, I love technological gadgets and try not to follow the craze because it's never ending, right, students? You buy iPhone 10 today, tomorrow 11 comes out. By 11, X comes out, right? All these funny, funny things will always be happening, right? So it's never ending, right? Okay, and these products are very costly, as I mentioned, right? It will always be a never ending trend if we have to keep following and keep buying the gadgets. It's going to be very expensive, okay? So therefore, I do not get easily influenced by my friends, right? And I hope it stays this way. 
Okay, so the story of my life. Basically, through all these oral practices, you get to know a lot of my thoughts and my insights and my habits, actually. So, yeah. Okay, now students, we have actually come to the end of our lesson for today. Okay, for those of you going back to school, namely the primary four, five, six, five, I know some of you are crashing in the lesson. It's actually fine. You're more than welcome. Okay, I wish you all the very best for the new term ahead. Okay, stay safe. Please take care. You know, bring all your hand sanitizer, all the wet wipes, etc. Right? And wear your shoes, okay, all your masks, right? Take care of yourselves, okay? I really don't want to know that any of you have fallen ill. Okay, for those of you who are doing home-based learning, remember not to stare at the screen so much, right? Look out, look at greenery, take good care of yourself. Okay, and remember, this is a phrase I want you to take note of. The best gadget is actually the human brain. With the human brain, that's how a lot of other things come about. If not, how do they even get invented, correct? Right? Okay, so with that being said, students, I wish you all the very best for the new term. Okay, take good care of yourselves. Drop me a text if you want, okay? And I will see you next week. Okay? Blind kiss for all of you. Take care. Bye-bye.